I didn't see much evidence of the actual divisions within newsrooms. Journalists are inquisitive, curious people no, who want to tell the stories that affect their audiences from the their audience's TV. point of view. And that's really what we're all for. And I remember my time as a journalist, that's what you try to do. And this team here is what they want to do. And actually, what has been really amazing working with a very young team is that they want to all learn together and this idea of peer-to-peer -peer journalism so friends finding out together rather than the professor of news tells the pupil the audience i think is really important we've had some really good discussions about how we approach different issues people have different opinions but i think all, all journalists understand exactly as friends Because I want to put that point yeah. to Maria Breslin. Yeah. Sorry, Maria yeah. Breslin, editor of the Liverpool yeah. Echo. What about your newsroom? Are you seeing divisions? Are they age divisions, or is there no division in these sorts of issues? Um, I wouldn't say there aren't divisions. You know, people have different beliefs. People have different um, opinions on things. Um, and you know, but we we pull together. We talk about them, and we're a very very tight knit social group. Um, and I think diversity and inclusion is incredibly important to us um, as a business. It's something that we've got a long way to go um, in terms of achieving what we need to achieve and want to achieve. But, um, but it is important and everyone is on board with that journey. So, of course, you know, people disagree. Um, but generally, it's important that we present a united front um, and speak as the Echo brand, really. Okay, well, thanks for that. And it isn't just Kamal who's launched a new venture. The streamers are at it too. Uh, and Julia Alexander is here from Parrot Analytics. You know, there's a new streaming service in the UK this week. And I can imagine listeners at home shouting, what, another one? Um, so what is Peacock and what will it add to the mix, do you think? Peacock is NBC Universal's big streaming play. So if Disney has Disney Plus and Warner Media has HBO Max, Peacock is NBC Universal saying, hey, we've got pretty good content too, we want to be in this. Um, but the question posed to Comcast, who owns the uh, majority of Sky and who owns NBC Universal, we'll see playing out this week and as in the weeks to come, is whether or not there is as much appetite in the UK and across Europe, and again in the months to come, as there is in the United States to have a kind of fractured streaming service base where people are subscribing to seven, eight, nine streaming services and then saying, wait, why am I not just using cable at this point? Um, so the question that was going to happen with Peacock, where people can watch The Office and Law and & Order and the Mindy Project, their NBC Universal shows, some live sports, some live news, um, is whether or not there's an audience. 